Hi there, my name's John Maybe, and welcome to Hippo Shorts. In this segment, we're gonna talk about peripheral artery disease and the ankle brachial index, or ABI. So what is peripheral artery disease? It's a narrowing, right, of the arteries, excluding, though, the heart and brain. Usually, this is secondary to atherosclerosis, but a major risk factor also is smoking, something to be aware of. The most common site that we see affected are the legs. And what are some of the classic symptoms we get with this condition? Intermittent claudication. Other signs and symptoms that we can see are skin ulcers, cold limbs or cool limbs. We can get poor hair growth or poor nail growth, that shiny skin right that you learned about, as well as decreased pulses. So to make this diagnosis, we typically use the ankle brachial index or ABI as the most common initial diagnostic study. How do we determine the ABI? It's pretty simple. We take the ankle systolic blood pressure, divide that by the arm systolic blood pressure, and we get that ratio. Normal values of ABI range between 0.9 to 1.2, so anything less than 0.9 is consistent with a finding of peripheral artery disease. Let's take a look at this diagram. This diagram shows us an arm and a leg, and we're going to uh, basically take blood pressures in each one of those limbs. So, of course, we need a blood pressure cuff, and we need an ultrasound device. The blood pressure cuff is placed in the distal portion or mid portion of the arm, so we find the artery initially with the ultrasound, ultrasound transducer, and then we inflate the blood pressure cuff above the uh, systolic blood pressure level, and then gradually release the air until we hear the um, blood flowing back through the brachial artery again. So we take this measurement in both the right and left arm, and we take the higher of the two values. Similarly, we measure the blood pressure in the leg, specifically the systolic blood pressure, and we take measurements over both the dorsalis pedis as well as the posterior tibial or posterior tibialis arteries. Similarly here, we inflate the cuff and then make determinations of the pressure in both of those arteries, and we take the higher of those values. So to calculate the ABI, then, we take the highest of the ankle pressure, divide that by the highest of the right or left, systolic blood pressures in the arm, and bingo, we get our ABI. That wraps it up for this Hippo Short. For more information on this or other topics, come on down to hippoeducation.com, and we'll see you next time.